All right. Hello, everyone. I am Andy. Today I'm doing, I'm starting a perma infected run, but I'm doing a custom perma infected run. I will be, first of all, perma infected run. I need to get infected as soon as possible and never cure myself for the entire game. Second, I'm going to be playing on cocoon difficulty. And lastly, I'm going to be spinning an infection themed wheel at every midnight. So every midnight, I'll put an image of the wheel up on screen now. I'll be spinning this wheel. I'm only going to start spinning once I'm infected though. And if the spinner happens to land on something that it's already landed on before, I need to spin again and do both of the results. And these results will usually last until the next midnight, unless it's specified. Um, here are here's some descriptions for some of the wheel spins as well. There's I'll read out a few. There's muddy water. All water in town gets contaminated, and I'm not allowed to gather water from any source. There's contaminated food. The food in your pocket somehow got contaminated. I need to drop all currently held food. There is quarantine. Whichever quarter of town you're currently in is under quarantine. I'm not allowed to leave the quarter in any way. Um, I'll read one more. Heavy air. The plague adds weight to the town's air. No running all day. You can pause the video, I guess, if you want to look at the rest of them. I'll have them all up on screen there. Another thing to address is I have issues capturing in-game audio. There's really nothing I can do about it until I can upgrade my computer, which won't be for a while. So that so the audio is going to be like cutting in and out at times. And sometimes it just won't even be there. I don't know. I don't have any control over it, but I figured some audio is better than no audio. And this series is going to be turned into a video for my main channel. So this is kind of like behind the scenes filming it, I suppose. Okay, so I did do a run of this already that I was posting episodes to. I made a post about it, kind of explaining what was going on and why I removed those episodes. So I made it to like day four in those episodes. And I spent a lot of time stuck not knowing what to do completely dying and stuff and then i i messed with my rules a bit i was like okay whatever do this do this and then, then i figured it out for a bit but then i was like no ultimately this run isn't gonna happen but anyway from that first run I think I have enough knowledge and understanding of how infection works that now I'm sure I can do this. I'm sure I can do this. So some key things, <clears throat> so some key things I took away from that first attempt was that antibiotics are key. Antibiotics are key to surviving this. I have never used an antibiotic on myself before when I was recording the episode that is now deleted on day four. And so what, what my situation was, was my infection bar was around half. And so that means every few minutes it would take like a third of my health away or something like that. And I just couldn't keep up with that with the amount of bandages and stuff I had. I couldn't make it like half the day and then I found out you could take antibiotics and drugs and my mind was blown so that means first of all I was selling my scalpels away because I didn't think I would need organs that's wrong I need organs to brew and my own antibiotics so that I won't have to rely on shop RNG to buy them okay I've already played through the intro and whatever so I'm here already
take this. And I'll get going to griefs. And another thing. During my first two days, I was like, I spent so much... I traded for so many bandages on day one. But, no. You can not have enough bandages. Don't ever... You need lots of bandages as well. But for now, this first day is going to be the same as any other first day. Lots of trading. Um, yeah, that's it, I guess. I can't think of anything else from the other run from the top of my head that needs to be different about this run. But if I do think about it, then I'll bring it up. But like, after doing that first run, I, I really am so confident that I can do this. Because like that first run, I went in completely blind. Usually when I get infected, I'll either cure myself or reload. Like I've never been infected for a long period of time in this game. And I didn't bother doing any like research or looking into how the infection works. I just assumed it would be really simple and easy which was completely wrong. Another thing I'm pretty sure I found out isn't really like something I need to change about myself while I'm playing through this. Apparently like drugs, I don't think they spawn in at all until the plague arrives. Like you can't buy them from any stores. Bar the usurer, just nailed the barley down. Here we go, all around. Feels like my stitches are popping. Okay, I'll agree to look at piecework, and I'll take his stuff. Will he still trade with me? He won't. Okay, leave the pocket watch here. He'll take that for me later. Leave the scrap name. I won't need that until midnight. The bandages can stay here as well, as well as the coffee. I need plenty of inventory space. I'm going to be collecting lots of things. And the tourniquet. I'll save, and now where am I going to head to? I'm going to pick up a cache, and then I'm heading to pick up more caches I'll send to see Robin. I'm picking up caches on my way to see Robin. It's not usually raining and foggy on the first day. Right? I don't know how the weather system in this game works. I always assumed it was tied to some days to specifically, like, one day will always be rainy, and these other days won't. Um, I don't know if I want those bottles of blood. Do I have anything to trade to you already? I don't think so. I couldn't tell because my inventory didn't spawn in and I want to get a move on. This dude's... Uh, shoot. Whatever. It doesn't matter. 
That starts your reputation going down. If he doesn't talk to you, it won't go down. Oh, I might have to drop that bell if I run out of space. What do you got for me? This is water? Yep, the bottle. Um, do I have anything to trade with the kids already? Um, I need immunity boosters. Uh, two beetles. You? You have cosk. I want the cosk. You want six for it. The charm? I think I need the charm. So you're going to have to take this and that. There's a ladder there. Okay, once I've taken everything from here, I'm going to do a small loop around, collect a few more items, head into a grocery store. I'm going to make my way back to Griefs. And then I'm taking the boat to Lara's. I need a fingernail, though. I don't know if I have one of those yet. Yeah, I've got a fingernail on me. I don't need to worry about that. Oh yeah, and I get to go see Notkin. Yeah, don't forget to Can talk to him. And then that triggers the kids to spawn outside, and then they'll tell me about Notkin's warehouse. Save the game. Uh, look at my health. Not my health, my hunger. Check my hunger. So that I can clear some space because I still have quite a lot of more things to pick up before I get to trading. Can. Cosk. Uh, water. Hello? Wait. I wasn't paying attention to what I said. I was just skipping through that. Hopefully I didn't decline their invitation to go see Notkin. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that I'm playing on Xbox One. So loading times are just bad. Things take forever to load. Going into a district takes long to load. It'll take long to load the items in my inventory and other characters' inventories. Sometimes you will enter a district and then you're left standing around there while the buildings load in and that can hurt when you're in an infected district because then you have to stay outside for longer. So if you've noticed that, that's the reasoning. Ah, oh, shoot, I missed my time, my moment. 
to buy from the grocery stop here, didn't I? I meant the grocery shop, not the stop. Because I'm too, I think I'm too hated to shop here now. I'll still try. I need your charm. And this cash. Now let's see if the grocery store will accept me. Hey, lucky charm in the trash. Yeah, my trust is too low. Okay, uh, time to head to Notkin. And then back to Grief, and then to Lara. Oh, I'll speak with this guy over here too. Wasn't he supposed to give me some toast? I don't think I checked these. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go around through the crude sprawl because there's more stuff to loot there. There. I need the meat from this guy. And this is what I need the two charms for. I'm gonna drop those scissors, aren't I? Oh no, they stacked away. Uh, trade with me? No, you're not the right kid. Are you gonna trade with me? 
It's you two that trade with me. What do you got? Um, a lockpick, immunity boosters. I want to keep my scalpels. Let's speak with the other girl first. She gave me some milk. What do you got for me? Needles? Oh, how much will you take the bell for? Six? How much for the boots? Twenty. If I wanted all of these needles, I can offer up these two to clear up space. And then from you, you only want five for that? Okay, I'll take a lockpick. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. Hello, not kidding. Hide and seek, tag, or such. Or we might as well play around the room. Should have kept quiet. A bargain is a bargain. And I'm going to keep the leash, even though I don't need schmutters as well. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing for during this run is I'm going to see how long I can keep an infected person alive for. So I'm going to purposefully try to get as many people infected as possible. And then we're going to have like a competition to see who survives the longest, who I can keep alive the longest. Um, I think I should have gone into griefs first. I don't have any space, do I? I can leave some more things behind in there, and then I can come back this way, and then to the boat. forever to load me inside and then I can leave immediately. Oh no, wait. Ugh. I'm coming in here under the assumption that I can buy and sell things to him, but I can't. But that's okay. I can still put things away. Okay, what do I not need? This leash... The twirene I can sell. The smoked meat can go away. Um, how about... No. I guess I'll put this egg in the pemmican in there. No, 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 no. I think a better decision would be to split most of these bottles away and put them in here. I'm sure I'll get more bottles. Uh, I don't have space for the fish. I'll take that, and this, and that. And then we'll see what space I have left. So, canned food. What else? Um, how hungry am I? Not very. Milk? Okay. Now I can buy this. Oh, sell the twirene. I'm out of money, so I can't buy the fish. I didn't realize I was out of money. I didn't drop anything. No, I didn't.
Uh, there's another cache back here I'm going to take a look at. Hey, bud, what do you got for me this time? Post. Okay, I need to put some more stuff away. <clears throat> um, I totally forgot that I could have sold that cloth mask. Uh, put the toast away. I can put the tan away. Uh, and this, I suppose. And this. Yeah, I'll keep it on me. And then I have stuff in here. Great. Uh, I'll unequip the scalpel, and then I'll equip the knife. There. Okay. Now I need Lara to fix my reputation. My heart beats uneven. Will it rain? Will it snow? Will it pass? I don't know. Come on, get me out of this dream already.
This Lara section is taking too long. They lived what is going on here? And ever Never knew there was a sword there. You know, my heart aches for this increase to the blood needle. All right. Um, if you tarry. You'll die Great, she shredded. managed to fix my reputation. Okay. I've got an inventory full of stuff. Um, I'm trading it away. I need to clear plenty of space to fill it up with more stuff. If I had one more bottle, you would have been my first bandage trade. Hazelnuts for an egg. How about you? What do you got? Uh, how many fingernails do I have? None. So I do need a few. Um, I will always am in need of needles. Fishing hooks for the spring. My first fish. Uh, take the razor from me because it takes up quite a bit. I want the immunity boosters as well. What's the best way to do this? Two scissors. I got a bottle. Let me go find that guy and then I can get my first bandage. Is that him down there? I think I checked that one. I don't know where that guy went. There's a cache behind those rocks I need, and then to the playground, and then to the grocery. Um, I don't think I actually need both of these scalpels on me. Uh, I'd like both of these, please. Because I just needed to remove the lockpick from piecework. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to stop back at Lara's to drop some things off before I head there anyway. Uh, needles? Yes. Immunity boosters? Yes. If I can get a good trade for it, I can. Morphine. Morphine egg. I do. I am going to eventually need morphine. But for today, I'd rather be trading for food and other valuable resources. Oh, come on. I keep ending up one short. There's no nearby water pump or barrel here.
All right, I don't have money. In fact, I shouldn't be buying any food. I need to buy some bandages. It's important that I stock up on those early. Is that all, all I wanted to sell? I think so. I think I could maybe afford one bandage though. Also, these children's inventory should have reset, I think. Or they can just disappear. Do I have stuff I want to put away? Definitely. And then I think I'll head for peace work. What time is it? 12. All right, what do I, I only have space for one thing. Um, the higher durability scalpel can go in there. Toast, toast can stack away. Nothing else can stack away. I've got more bottles to fill. So now I'm going to head backbone to piecework. How many fingernails do I have now? I only have two. I thought I would have had more. Uh, four? Oh, and thanks for the charm. There's a fish. I think the scissors and the fish hooks. Yep. Um, I don't have a lockpick. I have a knife. How much is that worth for you? Four. Okay, I'll take it for the boosters. I'll trade this for that toast. If I can, I want to... No, my hunger isn't very high. I need to get this fat-ass fish out of my inventory. Fingernail. Yes, uh, you'll take the bell for the nail. Yep, I'll take it. Fish, take that and that for me. Another fish. Um, two. Those two in a match. I thought I saw somebody here. How many do I have now? Four.
There's another cache to pick up up here. Egg. Can I afford the egg? Yeah, I can. Needle morphine. I'd like the needle. Can I? I can't afford the egg. I'll take the immunity boosters. Another fish. I've got one more playground and then I'm going to piecework. Three? I don't have enough. Do I? No, you won't take anything from me. I'll take the egg. I'll take the fish. How are things looking? I have one stack of fish. So, let me organize my inventory a bit. I have no clue if I'm going to have enough space for everything I'll get from this building. Probably not, actually. I can eat that. I make any final trades before I head in? Three, and there we go. Now, what did you have? You had a fingernail. Oh, I'd rather give the hooks to the other kids. Okay, peace work. Just taking the thing. There we go. And I'm not going to lockpick any drawers.
But I will lockpick the doors, because that's all you can do with this lockpick. You can't trade Peaceworks lockpick to anybody. I'm gonna do this one. That was worth it. I like to lockpick big containers. Because I think that means that there's more of a chance of a better item to be in there. Drop something. I have enough needles to sp needles to spare anyway. I'm not doing that one. How many more doors is this lockpick going to get me through? This might be the last one. Oh, hey, those last ones were worth it. I don't need to figure out what I'm going to leave behind here. Um, I can drop the twirene. And I guess I'll eat these chestnuts. Okay, now I'm going to run back to Griefs. And then I think I'll go get arrested. Hello. Can I go through, please? The area is not loaded in, so there's like an invisible wall here. I'm going to hope there's nobody to attack me back here because I want to speak with the children here. Hello? There's no kids here. Why did I have space for a bottle? Um, I don't think either of them will attack me. That guy will attack me though.
All right, I've dealt with piecework. Um, what do I have to sell to you now? I have the pocket watch and the Wisdom's cabinet. Good to possess. Better still is cleverness. Okay, I'm swapping things around now. Once it loads. Um, I can stack that into me. I can stack that into me. I'll leave the fish here. I want the scrap name. I will leave... Stack of eggs. And this bottle of tan. I'll take the pocket watch. Anything else to leave? I won't need the scalpel for now. Okay, Grief, take this from me. And I'm going to take a lockpick. I'll take both of them. And now it's 14. I'm going to boat back to over here, check out this pharmacy, trade a bit more, and then get arrested. Where am I? I think there's a cache back there. It's on the other side of this wall. Which has kicked me out of that menu. Um, eat the toast. That'll make space. Alright, let's see if they've got bandages for me. Uh, I'll take a tourniquet. And the immunity boosters.
It's cheap. I'm gonna need scalpels in the future. All right, the rest of my money goes to pharmacies for tonight. Let me check the time again. Cause then I'll figure out if I should spend more time trading or spend less time trading before I head to jail. I need to go sometime before it hits 19. Cause 19 is when they let you out of jail, 1945, I think. I don't wanna be late to my arrest. Uh, I've got plenty of time. Well, how exhausted am I? Quite exhausted. I've got enough immunity boosters for now. I'll take those. Do I have enough? No, I can get more fingernails. I'm not overpaying for that egg. Okay, that's it for immunity boosters. I'm gonna stop trading for those now. I mean, fingernails. Oh, am I gonna, I'll have enough space for the food I get here. I've already checked that trash can. Um, I'll take both of those needles. I can't afford the precious egg. Oh wow, you got smoked meat on you. I'm not trading away my bandages for it though. Time, 16. Yeah, I guess I could sleep for three hours. I'll take both of those. Okay, I've got nothing for the small kids.
Most of my inventory is just resources at this point, and less trading items. I guess I've been very efficient. Barber's leading the gang. <laughs> Some, Some barber. barber. <coughs> okay, sleep time. Sleep for one hour because I think I'm going to dream. Yep. Okay, I think they let me out at 9.45, and I'm going to sleep one hour at a time. Eh, 9.45. I'm a few minutes early. You gonna let me out or not? There we go. Nine fifty-eight. Is that what the time was supposed to be? <clears throat> you can't use the bed anymore. Yep. Let me out. Uh, yeah. I'll go see Vlad now. And then I'm gonna check out some more caches. and trade until midnight. And then I'll head to the dead item shop. I've got a bit of pocket change to spend on bandages perhaps. Let's just sort this a bit.
I didn't mean to talk to that guy. Fish. Uh, give me those scissors back, actually. Just take two needles. I think that's the better trade. Not gonna be able to trade with them, but I am interested in this trash can. Oh, I don't have space for that. Now I do. That's like my third bull bell. Usually I don't find them. Four for that, three for that, I'll take it. I should be going this way. I don't think I searched this one. Or this one. Can I afford cost? Yes, I can. Okay, probably going to spend the last of my money on either a bandage or a tourniquet, whichever they got here. Bandage it is. Okay, now I'll go talk to Vlad. And then, how long do I have till midnight? Four hours. Well, I suppose I have some caches I can look for. Just try to trade, I guess. I'm running out of trading stuff, though. I don't know what I'm going to do during the night. I'm tempted to just sleep through it. Like, I've collected a good amount of the town's caches already.
Okay, so what's the route? I'm heading through here. Stuff to trade. Um, there's a cache here, a cache here. I'll head here to the cape, collect more caches around here. And hope that it hits midnight soon. All that I have for the rest of this time is collecting caches and trying to trade. And then the shady shop. And if I finish that all and I still have time before it's the next day, I'm just gonna sleep. And my exhaustion will probably be up or up by then. I think I ran out of lockpicks, didn't I? Yep. Wait, where did I get more money from? Also, what? I just found the Schmouter? Huh. Well, that's interesting. The only use of a Schmouter that I would have for is the fund. Because I'm not curing anybody. Where did I get this money from? Oh, Vlad's. I picked it up from Vlad. You don't have anything, though. Uh, how much do you buy this bullet for? 80? I think Grief buys it for slightly higher than that. And since it doesn't take up too much space, I don't mind holding on to it for longer. getting dark already. Oh, I know, I dropped that. 
Maybe I can eat something. Yep, I've got one egg. Oh, there is a playground that I ran past. Oh, I can't fit any more bottles in my pockets. Now I can. No, I can't, because the fish took up more space. Um... Oh, fishing hooks. You'll take fishing hooks. I was gonna give him... Oh. I was gonna give him the scrap name. These are all worth three to you? I can get that bottle I dropped now. Hey, having that charm means I get to go to another pharmacy. There's not one nearby, though. I really need access to my lair already. I've completely filled up Lara's and Grief's. And most of my inventory is resources. Can't take either of these. And I don't know where else I can put things that are safe. I'm not sure if I can put things in Vlad's cabinet or not. But hey, I'm out of things to do. Inventory's full. I don't want to... I don't think I should keep trading with a full inventory like this. I'm going to head to Vlad's and sleep until midnight. Can I fill these bottles, or will that make me drop everything? I can fill them. I mean, I might as well check in with these kids. I'm passing by. Um, we can have a scrap name.
Yeah, now I'm like, no more options left. Ah, uh, I missed out on two fish, because I can't afford. Um, yeah, sleep. Sleep time. Two hours. Stop. I'll head to the dead item shop, and I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. Can's reset at midnight? It must be. I'm sure I looted that one. Oh no, I'm not gonna have space for this. I'll drop a canned food and the fish. Okay, get rid of the stuff. Get rid of everything I can. He's got two milks and a bracelet. Okay, what if I got rid of the bracelet? I'd be short from nine. How about we get rid of a milk, and they'll take a bracelet, and then I'll give you this lockpick. Oh great, now I need space for the milk. Oh, this isn't gonna work out, is it? It might. Pick up the canned food. It went to the worst place it could. Fish. Oh yeah, I can do this. I've got enough space. And then the milk. I didn't move the fishing hooks though. Well, here's my final end of day one food and resources. I got six tourniquets. I think these are all the bandages I have. I have more food at Lars and Griefs as well. I'm going to head back to Vlad's and I'm going to end this episode there. And then beginning of day two will probably just be me sleeping. Well, um, that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching day one of my new perma-infection run.